subscribe and share. Please, turn off the ad block, subscribe, and share. Links will be below for anyone wanting to support this channel. Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of TechView Snoop and today I'm going to show you how to check to see if your Android device was stolen and uh, that way if you buy refurbished phones or do whatever you can actually check it and to see if it will actually work before you pay. So as far as this goes, uh, what you will need is one of these. You can get this in the about section in the phone go into settings and go into the about. I'm not going to show it because depending on what brand and model, it's both brands and models, the settings are different. But it's usually somewhere within the about settings, uh, usually where the version of, of the operating system version is. But it could be in different places and the settings. It would always be in the settings though. So once you have this, what you can do is you can use this to actually check to see if your phone is stolen or at least known to be stolen. The reason why this is important is if your device is known to be stolen, it would actually be locked so you can't even use it with your carrier. And in some t cases you can't even use it for anything at all. And this is very, very important because obviously you don't want to pay $200 for something you can't use in a guy who you bought from or girl, they disappear all of a sudden, which happens. So with this, you just type in the thing there and you can get a good heads up on if the uh, stuff is stolen or not. Now I did test this out earlier. Uh, one of my phones, it was, uh, broken had sudden death syndrome so one of my family members they got me a replacement phone a refurbish and I started running into some problems some weird problems so this is one of the first things I checked out because this would be a huge indicator saying oh we're not going to keep this and um, it, that wasn't the problem with it it was that the person who they bought it from unlocked it and put it, some ROM on it and Wi-Fi and Bluetooth wouldn't work at all. So um, also watch out for that. One way you can tell from that is things of that nature does everything work. In fact, when you buy a phone, one thing I would suggest you to do is check to see if the Wi-Fi works, check to see if the, all the connections, Bluetooth, NFC, camera, flash works, and then check to see if you can even make calls. I've seen phones where you can where you buy them and everything looks fine but when you try to make a call it won't make a call or when you try to make a call you can't hear the person or the person can't hear you so that's very important in itself so when you're uh when you're dealing with that that's uh something important and stuff and also i've even seen it where it say for example it's a t-mobile phone it's a modified phone it's very hard to check it's modified phone, which they normally are pretty hard. But um, the radio is not installed on the phone as far as the software. And it won't connect to T-Mobile or Verizon or whatever service that you're going with. And that's uh, pretty important. So check that too. But um, anyways, this is a way to check to see if your phone is stolen and known to be stolen. Just because your phone isn't on this list as far as if you bought it, doesn't mean it's not stolen. But it means that it should work. Another way to test this is go directly to, if you're using Verizon, AT&T, whatever. They should have somewhere on their website a place that you can check this and if they say it's good and you are using their service then you should be fine but anyways as far as things goes uh, if you do have any questions want to add on anything or do anything else then please leave that in the comments section if you like this then please leave like subscribe share that last one helps me out most is sharing but if you don't like this go ahead and leave a dislike but tell me why I suck fixing future videos 
Again, this has been Craig Bent, founder and owner of Tech Views. Don't be have a great day.